Now, my next guest, no stranger to adventure, having travelled across the globe to more than 120 countries, find himself very often in some tricky situations. Well, now, travel presenter Simon Reeves has written a book to share some of those memories. He joins me now, step by step. Is that how you think of it when you go on your travels? Just put one foot in front of the other and hopefully it's all going to work out? Well, that, I think it's a motto for life, really. <laughs> it probably is. But yeah. it was, it's actually advice I was given by um, a lady in the job centre when I went to sign on, when I was flunked out of school. Jeez. And I was in a really, really bad way and I didn't know what I was going to do in life. And I sort of hit rock bottom and come a whisker from ending it all, to be honest. And I, I, I went into the job centre to sign on. My brother persuaded me to go. And there was a lady in there who said, you know, don't try and have a five-year plan or aim for the stars or any of this tosh that people are told so often. Just, yeah, yeah. just try and take it day by day, take it step by step. step that by was step. the advice. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. And it really worked. It really <laughs> it did. It really worked for me because yeah, doing anything was a bit of an achievement. You know, mm. getting out of bed in the morning wow. and getting to the news agents to get a paper to look through the small lads. That was that was success for me. God, that's amazing. When you think of what you've come from, because you had a really tough, mm. you know, tough upbringing, and then as you said, things got so bad, like with depression and anxiety. We were just talking to Nick yeah. about that. It's good that we're being. I it was know, lovely to hear. It's good that we're being. Yeah. More open about this now so. because I think so. we live in a world where particularly for the young now they're confronted by all these Instagram perfect oh, images yeah. and they think every life is is straightforward and normal and every everyone is sort of the duck flapping along underneath and sometimes it all goes horribly wrong sorry no is you're allowed you. not at all don't be <laughs> daft goodness me it's um, it was a trip to Scotland that changed things it for was you. I'm yeah. glad you pick up on that yeah <laughs> I definitely I noticed that in there. I know. it really was yeah I, I I'd, I'd signed on, I was um, getting a bit of money. I couldn't even get dull because I was too young and I was, I was an income support, for goodness sake. But, um, yeah, I'd, I'd never been... I didn't get on a plane until I started working. I don't come from a wealthy, travelly family. People think anyone who's on the telly is always public school and the finest I universities. Know, no, <laughs> not, not, <laughs> not, not me. I'm, I'm <laughs> the comprehensive, <laughs> no qualifications, no degree, leave school, I'm on the dole. But uh, when I was in a very dark place, I, I sort of decided to, to try and challenge myself. And I went on a journey and I went to Scotland. To be honest, it was no, I don't think it was any, for any other reason than some mates had a, a video of Highlander and I'm embarrassed to say this <laughs> to you, right? but, you know, whatever the reason, <laughs> I went to Scotland, I went to Glencoe, and mm. I ambled around, and then I climbed up, and it was... It was the, the making of me, in a way. I was such one of these Muppets who, you know, are totally unprepared, but um, going... To, Challenging myself physically yeah. in, in, a, in a diff when I was in a difficult place and having a bit of risk, that was, in many ways, it was the making of me. That's incredible. Mm. That's absolutely incredible. You've done some amazing things, been to so many different countries. You wrote about a very, very difficult things, like Osama bin Laden. Yeah. Before, even before 9-11, you wrote about that. Mm. It's almost as if you knew something was going to happen. Well, it's I remarkable. My yeah, I had some some terrible jobs uh, and and couldn't get a job for years. And then I started working as a postboy on a newspaper, properly starting at the bottom. And you you started as a sort of cub reporter. I, I think, did. Didn't you? I yeah, did indeed. Yeah. I, I I would have been stalking the post for you. <laughs> <laughs> that that was my way in. Um, and I got into working on investigations and then into yeah. writing books. And I went from being this really hopeless. Uh, 17, 18 year old to quite quickly working on quite exciting yeah, investigations. So. And, and yeah, then I, I wrote books and wrote books for several, I'd say it like it's the normal <laughs> thing, but yeah, I, but that is how life can change. Yeah, very much And so. I think one thing it's, my, cha my travels have taught me as well is that we so often dismiss um, people and, and, and we, 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 we take our, our own good fortune for granted. We don't recognize how luck plays such an important an important role. So I was lucky, a door opened for me and I, I took the chance. Yeah, it's, you, you get the chance and you yeah. grab it. It's all mm. about when you grab it and what you do with it. And I mean, we've seen, yeah. you know, you've done so many and we're seeing your TV adventures right now as well, which is fantastic. But, but this book is fascinating because it's, um, you know, people have said that like, you're the real deal and you, you really are. You know, you I don't just... even know what that means, well, but I love the fact you said it. No, but yeah. it means, but but it means it's, it's authenticity, isn't it? It's, I think it's, it is. I it think, really is because yeah. you do actually live it. I mean, you're not living in like, sort of luxury and then being parachuted into these places. You're actually there. Yes, yeah, experiencing sadly, it, getting yeah. grubby, you know, dirt under your fingernails. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we really do the journeys, and I love it. And the, the programs I make, they're a mix of travel and adventure mm. with real issues and I think often now people are told oh you know just stay in the resort just go and lie on a beach for your for your holiday and I understand that but it's not as it's not as much of an experience as if you learn about a place and you get out and you ask questions and you push yourself out of your comfort zone a bit so I'm doing this 
theatre tour at the moment and I'm really sort of shaking people by the shoulders and saying, you know, you've got to challenge yourself and yeah. try the, the crazy food and, and have experiences, do things your, your children or your grandparents wouldn't necessarily mm. approve of. Because be, that's curious. Where, be, be curious, be curious. That's, that's what Michael Palin are. always said. Yes. I went to a lecture with Michael Palin and he said, curiosity. That was the thing he said that, that is so important in human beings. Yeah, and, and there's a risk that we, we dilute it now, I think, and we're yeah. told, oh, everything's too risky or dangerous or you can't ask that question. Or I think, you know, as long as people are polite, they can ask almost anything of anyone. If, and, <laughs> and, well, you would know better than I. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, no, not always, Simon.